Jinping Bay. Do you know what the Chinese solar term is? Two days later. Yes, it's the minor heat. And I've also heard a saying that 小暑过一日热三分 which means the minor heat marks the beginning of midsummer, and the temperature is becoming increasingly high. I heard that pandas keep off summer heat by reducing daily movement or even just lying down. Do you? That's very true. Pandas are scared of summer heat, but we share common lifestyles in summer. We enjoy the coolness from the air conditioner, eat watermelons and ice cream. We also prefer to stay in the swimming pool. It's super cool. Yeah. Well, speaking of summer, I think kids must be very excited because they have a long, long summer vacation. Today is their first day of summer vacation. Baby, could you suggest the kids some place to go? Well, it's too hot during the daytime, so maybe they can go to the museum to watch exhibition. Chengdu Jingsha Site Museum is now holding the exhibition named Bronze Civilization in Southwest China. There are 294 fine artifacts presenting a large collection with high level. This is a moss statue from the number eight sacrificial pit in Shanxingdui. It shines brightly and looks extraordinary. This is a shell container from the Yunnan Provincial Museum. In ancient times, shells were used as currency, so this is like a piggy bank. And this is the bronze carriage on Earth from the Lao Long Tou in Yanyuan City. This is. It's first time exhibited to the public. Wow, those bronze figures were so gorgeous. From the pre-Qing period to the Qin Han dynasties, all parts of the southwest have entered the Bronze Age, giving birth to the ancient Bronze Civilization in full flourish. I will visit the museum tomorrow. Hmm, we can stay in a museum in the daytime, but what about night? Xue Qing, any suggestion? Okay, you can go to Dujiangyan to join the Tianfu Chinese 29 Tour Night Festival. You can watch the Mountain Era Fireworks Show, which is a national intangible cultural heritage. And another event you can enjoy is the Fish Lantern Dance, and you can go on a parade featured high style costume as well. You can also see a set of light show recreating the ancient scene of living governors of water. We all know that Sichuan is pretty well known for its light show. Wow, that sounds attractive. Here's another suggestion: If you want to have an outing, you can take the Panda Express. It's gonna be a new experience for you to take an exclusive tour on special train. I've heard about it. The Panda Express passes through Beijing, taking us on traveling through famous spots such as Ulan Bator Prairie, Chengde Mountain Resort, and the ancient Water City. There's a feeling scenery outside the window. Inside the train are full of surprises. As they moved the post office onto the train, the panda is everywhere in this train, on the mailboxes, postcards, and postmarks. That's why it's called Panda Post Office. And there are many co-branded and exclusive cultural products full of creation. If I take the Panda Express, I will send you a postcard. 